Well, the first deadline for college applications is next month. It's just days away, and high yeah. school seniors are writing personal statements and essays. Yeah, KCR 3's Deirdre Fitzpatrick spoke with an expert on some writing hacks for a successful application. One thing for the kids to think about while they're writing is to show, but not tell. Exactly. So if you're wanting to say, for example, in your essay, I'm a great leader, don't state that. That's just telling it, but instead show it. For example, I stood up in front of the room as 22 pairs of eyes looked at me and they were waiting for me to say my first words. Something like that is more interesting. So you want to show, not tell. Oh, I want to know what happened next in that one. <laughs> so your second tip is to use your own words. So don't use big, long words if that's not really how you speak. That's right. So if someone were to find your college essay in the middle of the school without your name on it, they should be able to pick it up and say, that sounds just like Sarah, because those are the kinds of words she uses. And if Sarah is someone who uses big, fancy words, then that's fine. But really speaking to your reader in an authentic voice that sounds just like you, that's why only you can write your essay. Nobody else can. It's a personal narrative, a personal statement. The third tip is to share that essay with somebody to get them to read it. But how does a kid know who is a good reader for something like that? That's right. So you don't necessarily want to post it on your refrigerator and get feedback from everyone in the family or share it with all of your friends. But do find a trusted adult, whether it's your school counselor, an English teacher, a parent, if you're comfortable, a private college counselor, if you are working with one, or even a best friend who knows you really well and you could trust to kind of keep that confidential. So get some feedback from somebody who knows you well who might be able to call you on something and that might say that doesn't really sound like you or gosh this sounds exactly like you and cynthia has a great tip for writer's block she suggest she suggests that students look through old family pictures to jog memories of meaningful personal events some really good advice there yeah really great advice you'd be surprised how much you forget <laughs> you have to go back through all the awards and yeah. look at everything yep. looking at the photos is a great idea yeah